2015 hasn't been the most innovative year for smartphones, especially on the high end. Instead, we get to see some more great smartphones at affordable prices. This is the Redmi Note 3 from Xiaomi and I think it's not just a king, but an emperor in the budget smartphone space. Made of complete aluminum and glass with a very quick fingerprint scanner at the back, you never expect that from the Redmi Note 3 that just cost around $189 to $200. It feels solid and substantial enough that some friends of mine thought it was even above $500. The aluminum has a soft touch feel to it and the phone is usually slippery because of its rounded sides. The volume rocker and power button feel very well built as well. This phone's build screams premium. It has a 5.5 inch IPS LCD display which isn't protected by Gorilla Glass by the way and it looks great. Whites are slightly but very slightly warmer than normal to me but all the other colors are okay. Blacks are not the deepest but overall the display is very bright and sharp. Sunlight viewability is good also due to Xiaomi's display tweaks which kick in automatically. The speaker at the back is loud but gets distorted and doesn't sound as crisp at maximum volume. Not as loud or as crisp as backfiring LG G4 speakers but good enough. Not bad at all. The software here is called MIUI 7 running on Android 5.0.2 and it is probably the most feature packed version of Android I've ever seen in my life. You have granular control over everything here. Themes for the status bar notification panel, lock screen icons and boot animations. Easily organizing your home screen, tweaking every sound setting available changing the size of recent apps preview and so much more. There's no denying that some of it looks inspired by iOS, most of iOS features are inspired and taken from Android as well. The problem here is how the software becomes buggy and laggy sometimes. Most of the time the phone is fast due to a Helio X10 and 3GB of RAM on this 32GB variant. But there are some frustrating lags that happen from time to time making me feel the phone isn't powerful enough. The Helio X10 is almost as powerful as the Snapdragon 808. It seems there's either some lack of optimization from the chip on Android or MIUI gets really laggy on high-end hardware such as this. It is frustrating to see this honestly. Anyways, hate it or love it, MIUI makes and breaks this phone. It is extremely customizable but comes at a price. It has a fingerprint scanner at the back which is extremely fast. Very quick to turn on the screen and unlock. But unfortunately it doesn't always recognize my fingerprint like say the 6P does and I get usually a 7 out of 10 success rate. The fingerprint scanner is on the back which also means you have to revert to pin and lock when the phone is sitting on the table unless you don't mind picking it up. A fast fingerprint scanner but usually inconsistent on the first try unless I'm really paying attention. It has an IR blaster which can control basically everything. Third party apps don't seem to work and you're free to tell me in the comments down below which app can work on this device. Most of those I tried crashed or didn't work. It also couldn't control my Sony TV which my G4 and Samsung Note could. I really don't want to discuss taking pictures on this device honestly because the results are so disappointing. I have a full gallery down below for anyone interested in seeing pictures I took with this phone. I haven't had a camera experience this bad since my HTC One X. Manual mode is a joke here with control over only ISO and exposure. I feel there's a huge waste of resources here. Xiaomi should have done more. The Meizu M2 which costs just $96 takes better pictures and has a full set of manual controls. MIUI is very feature packed but the camera app on this phone doesn't reflect Xiaomi's theme of granular control. Finally the best part of this phone is the battery life. Phones these days last you through the day but this one does it like a champ. With games, watching YouTube videos constantly, sync, browsing social media, websites, this thing lasts a really long while, rattling almost 7 hours screen on time. This is as good as my Sony Xperia Z3 on Android 4.4.4, which I had considered to be the best battery life on any phone, period. This phone will constantly serve power, even to the most demanding of users. The 4000 mAh battery isn't kidding here even though it takes a really long while to charge with an included charger. I mean like seriously long, it may almost frustrate you sometimes if you're used to fast charging. The only thing it needs is marshmallow and those to move it even further ahead of the curve. So with an aluminum build, fast processor, a great HD display, fast fingerprint scanner, a battery that hates dying, the ability to control your home appliances and electronics, the Redmi Note 3 is an incredible smartphone.
to think that you can have so much for so little a price that you don't even have to sweat is just impressive what's the motto g at this point honestly so that was it guys for the video if you like it please subscribe and like the video as it helps get to more of you guys out there and uh, see you in the next one Thank you.